What's your name? <laughs> I'm Philip Farmer, okay. and uh, I'm a neighbor down the street. Uh, I'm a mechanic as well. And Dave invited me over to help him install this uh, airbag kit on his truck that I recommended. Uh, okay. We have a previous video of us initially opening the box. And the first concern was, well, it was in a second box. And uh, just judging from the outside, I explained that, well, it possibly due to the weight of the box. Um, they can't get damaged in the warehouse. They sometimes double at the box. Well, after removing the box, um, we did notice, like we suspected, the weight um, damaged the box. Uh, there's obviously some reinforcement, but upon further inspection, you can see where previous uh, packing slips were taped and removed. Let me get that on the tape here real good. So, yeah, there was another there's a, slip on clearly there, right? a, a uh, whether a it was UPS or right. whatever it might might have been. There's a previous packing slip on the box that was removed. Are here. you able to peel that that piece back slowly? Yes. Yeah, so no. here on this side, you can see where the new packing slip has been. Well, what I mean is this old one here. If you peel Let's that see. back slowly, we might be able to see who bought it before us or before I did. Looks like I might be able to. If it starts ripping, just leave it alone because we'll save it for we'll save it for a uh, expert witness, somebody with the court to uh, yeah, that's going to just start wrecking it. So let's leave that alone, and we'll just leave that as evidence. But obviously, yeah. there was a different that in and of itself shows that this is has been shipped previously. Would you agree? Yes. Um... As of now, we don't know if this relates to a distribution center or if this was due to the previous shipment. It says uh, Northeast Fulfillment Center, Constitution Avenue, New York. But that does not look like a new no. packing, especially no, since it was actually shipped. And you can see our tag has been placed on the outer box. Right. Yeah, so why would there even be a tag on the inner box? That's right. So clearly, um, for starters... <clears throat> Let's look inside the box here, because what I see is a lot of dirt grease. I'm seeing a lot of uh, what appears to be dirt and grease, and, and a lot of parts just dumped in the box. So, and you can see here... This bag has clearly been handled. opened. Um, it was first torn open as I would if I bought something and was ready to remove the hardware and start installing. Let me uh, see that label on there. Uh, okay. So this is a part identification right. tag for the But this has clearly hardware. been just ripped open. Uh, and Not I've only here, but... <clears throat> For the larger parts, they also right. tore the top open. Yeah. And then dumped in the bottom for us for right. its next shipment. Okay. And these are some of the parts that were in the box. So, <clears throat> again, looking at the parts too, um, there's clear damage to the powder coat. Yeah. And that's, Which means that that's, that's typical to somebody placing the part the, on the concrete of their garage. Um, yeah, so that, that's obviously not new from the factory. So it, it takes a drop or something on concrete to damage powder coat like that. Right. Even, even if you're installing it on your truck, um, handling it yourself, bumping it into another piece of metal will not cause that damage. Especially since it's clear that it's on corners, places it was sat down. Hold that, hold that still so I can zoom in on that. Yeah, that's definitely damaged there. So anybody that knows powder coat knows that you got it. That's especially yeah. on a corner. You have to drop that on concrete to damage that. Okay. Um, so that's another piece of evidence that this is not new from Firestone. 
Um, we'll contact Firestone, ask Firestone if this is how they ship their products new with that then, kind of damage. So some of the other parts, um, not as of, damaged. Well, there's a piece of damage right on that part right there. Right. There's a a nick in the powder coating, which, you know, again, tells me that uh, this has been open and handled, opened and dropped. There are several nicks on this piece right here. And then specifically, what catches my eye is damage that could have been caused by fitment, taking this part and placing it against... Can't, you can't move it around like that because uh, the camera won't follow it. <laughs> okay, what are we talking about? So uh, we, uh, we have some wear marks here that, that look like it could be damaged to fitment, trying to... Oh yeah, that has actually been mounted, hasn't it? Um, it, it doesn't look like it, it, it's been physically mounted. Um, typically when you do uh, any bolt holes, if any hardware is placed right. on there and torqued, it will... But that's definitely not new. Right, so it'll inevitably, um, you'll be able to see the bolt head wear marks if it was physically attached to the vehicle, but this is worn scraping um, abrasion from possibly fitting it up to your truck. Right. Um, they may have thought that it didn't fit their truck or for whatever reason they decided they weren't going to keep it. And right, it's, it's obviously been opened and returned. It's been opened, attempted to be installed and returned. And, and then there's just um, an incredible amount of dirt, debris. Let's hold it nice and steady. Yeah. And now just slowly turn it. Yeah. I don't know what all that dirt is, you know, but yeah, that's filthy. I can't believe that that's like how they ship it new from the factory. I, I can't imagine it having that much crud all over it. <clears throat> the other one dirty like that. And again, um, I mean, there, I could pour dirt out of this bag. Really? That was when we removed the instructions. Um, so the instructions have been opened. Yes. Where they really should be in a sealed bag. And that bag has been cut open. Yeah, this looks like that it's uh, serrated. Yeah. And pulled open. Again, um, whether from handling or poor packaging, there's. Uh, Basically, every single part of here has some kind of wear. Yeah, well, and I don't think that's from the Firestone factory. I don't think they package stuff. No, this all should that have, recklessly. Like the the new box we received, this all should have came in some kind of um, uh, parchment paper or packing. Right. Each part would have been wrapped. Um, obviously, this isn't uh, something fragile that needs to be bubble wrapped or anything. But they do wrap it in uh, some kind of cardboard or paper to prevent it from being scratched like this. Yeah, well, <clears throat> one of the real telltale signs is that one piece where you showed the scratches and stuff of it actually being mounted. Right, and then just yeah. to this quality of powder coat from the factory, for it to be damaged as badly as one of our parts here, um, it it takes a good drop or um, yeah to even to chip yeah. that down back down. It definitely down. is not new. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Well, we showed from the beginning of just opening the box, and now we are showing all the damage to the parts. Um, today is uh, July seventeenth. 2015 and um, uh, this is from sdsprings.com uh, we have called American Express and let them know that there's a problem with this order um, so we'll have to see what SD Springs wants to do but uh, I purchased brand new 
and even on their packing slip they are showing that it was inspected um, there's two packing slips actually there's uh, where it was inspected and uh, grab the other one off my desk if you would okay. <clears throat> SD Truck Springs is the name of the company. Okay, so we have the packing slip. And this is for, uh, I can't get that close. I've got to hold it back. A so both, both packing slips have uh, two items. Well, hold, hold that one up there. This is a uh, packing slip removed from the wireless controller kit and okay. compressor. Again, it's been inspected and verified. Yeah, and now hold up the other one. And this is yeah, the Be careful slip. not to get too many of your fingerprints on there because we, they may want to do forensics and fingerprints on these documents as well as the parts. Because those parts probably have fingerprints on them that uh, because this this could potentially be criminal fraud because it is interstate transportation and that is definitely a falsely made and forged document to say that this is a new kit so we may contact the uh, US Postal Service UPS um, and we may make a report with the FBI. So we've uh, yet to inventory the parts. It could be worse. We could be also missing parts. Well, yeah, we don't. So say, we'll inventory the parts. Say that once again. Well. So we haven't inventoried the parts either just because this is in complete disarray. But right. we'll, we'll inventory the parts and there could be missing parts, which is, is by far the worst thing they can do as well. Well, the worst thing they can do is ship something that they sold and charged as new knowing that this is not new and there's no way that they could possibly have not known I mean look at the box itself you can tell that this is just used a used set so we'll also probably contact uh, these are made by Firestone is that correct yes Okay, so we'll contact Firestone and we will register a complaint with them as well. All right, thank you very much, Phil. Wonderful right. job.